Good morning, Westwood High School. Today is Friday, April 22nd, 2022. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Lance Foule. And I'm David Lima. The Spanish club is supporting World Central Kitchen in the wake of the Ukra Ukraine conflict with their campaign, Un Dollar El Por Dollar, meaning a dollar for the pain. Your homeroom teachers have each have an envelope for donations. If everyone donates one dollar, a huge impact can be made. Please consider helping out right now. The Westfield Marching Band is seeking students interested in joining the Color Guard. The Color Guard is a fall activity that takes place after school centered around performance and dance. No experience is necessary. The Color Guard is holding a special friends and family performance tomorrow evening in the Westfield High School gym. Admission is free and any new prospective members who will attend will enter in a free raffle to win a $100 Amazon free gift card. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 7.30 p.m. in the WHS gym and will only last approximately 30 minutes. A meeting for the Lightning Wheels Club will take place today, after school in room 248. They will be discussing upcoming fundraisers, so be there. The Senior Tech Buddies Club is having a meeting Monday in room 290 at 3 o'clock. There will be an interest meeting for the annual WHS event Mayhem today at 3 p.m. in the auditorium. The Strive Club is hosting its 7th annual fundraiser concert tonight at 6.30 in the auditorium. Please check out the Instagram at WHS Strive Club to purchase tickets. Today is the last day to buy semi-formal tickets on the Calf B stage during lunch periods for $10. Make sure you get your ticket. Tickets will be sold at the door, but will be $15. In addition, make sure to be at the school between 7 and 7.30 tonight and bring your ID to scan in. Anyone who shows up after 7.30 without a pre-approved excuse will not be admitted. Are you interested in coding? Come to the Coding with a Cause Club today after school in room 131 to learn how to code in C++. Today, they will be discuss all of the officer positions of their upcoming election. Do you have a passion for art, photography, or writing? Well, good news. The deadline to submit to Folio's Literary Art Magazine has been extended. The new deadline is April 24th. Congratulations to the Westfield Public Schools Music Department for being nationally recognized as the best community for music education by the NAM Foundation for the fifth consecutive year. Only a small amount of school districts throughout the country have achieved this honor. This award is a testament to the hard work and dedication of the Westwood community in keeping the arts vibrant in our town. Congratulations to the entire cast and crew of the WHS Theater Department's fall production of Much Ado About Nothing on their seven MSU Foxy Award nominations for Outstanding Achievement in Theater. The nominations include Zoe Greenzang and Lucy St. Dennis for Outstanding Performance by an Actress in a Classical Play, Joey Gamba and Evan Leone with Outstanding Performance by an Actor in a Classical Play, Mr. Devlin for Outstanding Achievement in Stage Direction, the full cast for Outstanding Achievement by an Acting Ensemble of a Classical Play, and the full cast and crew of For Much Ado for outstanding production of a classical play. Congratulations to everyone involved in this outstanding production. Winners will be announced at a virtual ceremony at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, May 23rd. We now go to Sports Update with Michael Cerotti. Good morning, WHS. I'm Michael Cerotti, and here's your BDTV Sports Update. Yesterday, the boys' golf team beat Union Catholic 154-198, to while the girls' team took a close loss to Oak Knoll despite Jill Isaacman placing first overall. Today at 4 o'clock, the baseball team, who beat Linden 3-2 yesterday, will travel to East Brunswick, while the boys' tennis team will host oratory prep. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., the boys' and girls' track and field teams will compete in the Blue Devil Invitational at Keller, and at 2 o'clock, the softball team will take on St. Thomas Aquinas at home. The boys' lacrosse team will face Pope John at noon on Sunday at Keller. And from the team, congratulations to senior and Washington and Lee commit James Haley on being named All-State Athlete of the Week. Finally, congratulations to the following students who were recognized for the PE Warrior during the month of March. Seniors Jack Saunders and Eden Wilkins, juniors Kelly Shen and Varun Nair, and freshmen Andrew Sakala and Sophia Basildua. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, David and Lance. 
Thank you, Michael. And that's all we have for today. I understand there will be a new crew on Monday. Will you be there, Lance? I don't know. Maybe? Will you? Um, I don't think so. Will Ryan be there? I, I don't even know where Ryan is right now. No, uh, I don't actually know either. <laughs> if you would like to submit an announcement, please, uh, please be read. Please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WHSBDTV. Have a great weekend, WHS, and go Blue Devils!